Well, I'll tell you who was on stage singing and dancing last night. Katie Holmes, and she was joined by her husband, Tom Cruise, who doesn't sing and dance, but so what? Who cares? He's Tom Cruise. Take a look. Riveting. Okay, let's talk about this with Andy Borowitz of the BorowitzReport.com, comedian Beck Schwartz, and celebrity journalist Ben Whittacombe. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how cringeworthy is that? <laughs> well, they should show that to the dudes at Guantanamo to make them talk. You know, that's just a really ugly, ugly piece of footage. But, you know, I think there's a method to Tom's madness here because, you know, for years, there have been these rumors swirling about him that he's a good dancer. Yes. And I think he's trying to dispel that. <laughs> here. He's doing a very good job, I he think. Yeah. Uh, in risky business, he was, uh, didn't he, was he slide wonderful. and dance? Yeah, without his pants on, he can dance. Right. But, but this is supposed to be a sketch, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be funny. And he mm -hmm. clearly does not have a musical theater bone in his body. <laughs> no. So he can put to those rumors. He doesn't. What yeah, do you think? Speaking of bones, he yeah. was looking away every time she sort of got it like, you know, skirt was rising up there, and he's like, don't want to see that. <laughs> Really? Why? Weird. Uh, oh, he didn't want to appear like a pervert to looking at to, her dress. Well, right. It's his wife, though. Oh, it is his wife. But in public, it's kind of weird, isn't this it? This is true. To be, you know. But uh, do you think he's a better dancer than a Kate Gosselin, Andy? I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, I think he's definitely in that, I, I think that stratum. I think that they're sort of similar. I, I, what do you think about the difference between, is, is she, um, Katie Holmes, a better dancer than, than Tom Cruise? That's another question to ask. What do you I'm say? asking you. I, I don't know. I mean, I, th I felt both of them, uh, what's it? terrifying, I guess is the word I was saying. <laughs> terrifying. It's a, it's You're a, grasping it's for it. It's a terrifying spectacle. By the way, I like your to. new look. Who died? Well, this is pe <laughs> <laughs> actually my career. I'm on, um, I'm on uh, no, no, no. I'm on PBS now. I have a new PBS show called Need to Know on yeah. Friday nights, and uh, this is how we roll at PBS. I'm with all the funny men, Jim Lehrer. The guys in Antiques Road. Stop show. it, I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> I'm dying here. But now, this, uh, let's just go back to this for one second because um, Hugh Jackman and Ka uh, Catherine Beta, uh, what's her name? Catherine Zeta. Beta yeah. Jones. I always call her Beta Zeta. Right. <laughs> she was in with Hugh, and they were judging this. Do you th how do you think they thought of this? What do you think they thought of this routine? Oh, the choreography was divine. I mean, she shoves him across the floor. Whoa. Oh, Tony winning. And both Catherine Zeta Jones and, and Hugh Jackman are very accomplished dancers themselves. Right. They've got huge Broadway shows. Uh, Katie yes. Holmes has been on Broadway, but didn't have to dance, which we can see why. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Hugh Jackman can dance with those huge retractable claws of his, which right. is very impressive. Mm. And also he, is he is yeah. unbelievably talented. He is good. Hugh Jackman. Did you ever see the, the thing he did on um, um, P? Um, boy from Oz. Pe the boy yeah. from yeah, Oz. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, yeah. Peter Allen. Peter Allen, Allen. Yeah. that's it. Okay, yeah, yeah. here's another th story now. Uh, a statement I saw today from Courtney Love. I just think it's incredible. Quote, I was never pretty. Pretty girls just lie there. Us girls who grow up a little more homely have to try a little harder. That's why pretty girls never threaten me. Now, she's saying ugly people are good in bed. That, that would explain Julia Roberts' attraction to Lyle Lovett. No? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, he's no good. Lyle. Well, I like Lyle as a musician, but he... Sexy. I don't, really, you find him yeah. sexy. But interesting taste. And I so think that's really attractive. Let me just say that Courtney Love talking about having sex is going to do more for the abstinence movement than the Jonas <laughs> Brothers. I mean, this could be huge. She should go around to high schools talking about sex. Those kids will be virgins till they're 30. I mean, seriously, oh. you just... But you know, the thing about her, too, Courtney, in, in fairness, a few years ago, am I right about this? She was trying to be the pretty girl. Wasn't yeah. she getting yeah. all glammed up? She had a lot yeah. of work she done, too, by the way. She was not like natural. Kylie Minogue, you know? Yeah. And, and now uh, she's who? like saying, <laughs> well, if you're Australian, you would know. But now she's like, now she's like trying to be like, oh, I'm all, I was always ugly, and I'm an ugly girl, you know? So. But, you know, Ben or Bex, they're saying, what she's saying, basically, is you try harder in bed. She might have a point. I guess, but her point about pretty girls just lie there, I mean, like, if you're just lying there, I think you're doing it wrong. Right? Right. I think. Really? It's been a while. Oh, I, I wish someone would have told me that. <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> now they tell me. You know, we don't. <laughs> I can't comment because we don't have sex on PBS. Uh, so no, no that's true. That's true. I cannot Just hilarity. Well, no, we have those nature videos, like badgers have sex, yes. but not, uh, not PBS. Badger sex is hot. Exactly. What do you think about it? Do you think that people are better in bed if they're homeless? You know, I love the, the, the French tell a joke about the English, about the man who's up in front of the magistrate charged with necrophilia, and he says, I didn't know she was dead, Your Honor, I thought she was English. Oh. So, oh. Yes. You know who loves that show? People is failure. Kylie Minogue. <laughs> Kylie Minogue. Oh, yes. Who is she She's again? always telling that one. Okay, do we have time for one more story? Okay, the GOP has, la GOP has launched a sex-themed attack ad against Ohio Democrat Senate candidate and Lieutenant Governor Lee Fisher. Take a look. Hi. I'm the Lieutenant Governor. I focus on economic development. <laughs> I admit my job as lieutenant governor has kept me pretty busy, kept me pretty busy. Job creation and saving jobs are number one priority. Okay, they took the still from a documentary that this guy made. He happened to be shirtless. He's a kind of an older guy. Yeah. And they put it in this thing and put all this porn music <laughs> around it. Is that a low blow even for the GOP? Come on. You know, he, Lee Fisher, this is true. He is yeah. from my hometown. He's from Shaker Heights, oh, Ohio. Really? I'm an Ohio voter. I think he's an ad, and he says, vote for me, and I'll put my shirt back on. <laughs> that could be awesome for him. Don't so. you think this could backfire on the, on the Republican sure. Party? Seriously, I would like vote this. for him, because I find that spot a little bit arousing. I really, really like the music. It's it like makes him seem end. fun and interesting. I, totally. think, I think, it, think it totally backfired. Really, and uh, he, he's, no, he's not that attractive, so no, he might No, but you know what? He tries harder in bed. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly, and that's what we like that's about him. That's the important thing. Well, thank you, everybody, very much. And you can always catch, you know, now you can catch Andy PBS series, Need to Know, in this outfit, which premieres <laughs> tomorrow night. Up next, the cool and classy Pam Greer.